what's your financial goal? You want more money? Turn what you know into dough. Start hanging out with the people who have it. You create wealth on your own terms. It is not only your rights, but your duty to build wealth. You are fiscally fabulous, and it's time to enjoy your legacy. You're listening to Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire, a podcast that aims to provide you with the tools, guidance, and encouragement you need to build your wealth, enjoy your wealth, and leave a lasting legacy. Dr. Martin is an accomplished attorney, speaker, business consultant, and real estate strategist, an all-around self-made success who provides highly sought-after expert consulting in the creation, growth, and maintenance of generational wealth. Hello, fabulous. It's Dr. Teresa Barton, your favorite legal and business strategist. This is the place where you get all things legal, all things business, and all things real estate. We have a great show for you today, so you want to be right back. For many women entrepreneurs, the struggle is real. We arose becoming stronger with every fight. Wealth is what we built from that together. A wealth of resources, a wealth of knowledge, and a wealth of powerful businesswomen. When you are ready to achieve financial freedom and become fiscally fabulous, call. It will not be wealth that empowered your success. It will be this call. EnjoyYourLegacy.com, 646-437-7139. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. I'm Dr. Teresa Martin, and today's show, we have joined with us Ms. Jasmine Willows, who is going to share with us recession-proof investing and how she got started and how you can too. Jasmine, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Dr. Teresa. Great to see you again. I am so excited to talk about this topic, and I'm so glad that you joined me on this show. Before we dive into recession-proof investing, let's tell everybody how you get started in this industry. Well, the industry we're talking about is note investing. And so I've found a way for normal people like you and I to get involved with mortgage note investing, which in essence makes you the bank. And how does that actually work? Like, like what does it work? How does it work? I mean, because we hear about note investing, but what actually is note investing? Well, for those of you out there, if you actually have a mortgage or have ever had a mortgage, it's real simple, okay? What happens is if when you get a letter in the mail asking you to send your payments elsewhere, right? Say, hey, please forward your payments to a new servicer. That's us. And so I'm training you guys, investors, to now invest in mortgages. And that is really the fabric and backbone of America. So we're buying mortgages that are basically what you and I pay every month so that we can keep a roof over our head. So what you're saying is instead of people making mortgage payments, they can become little mortgage payments. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Brace yourself. I don't want to break that. (laughs) Brace yourself. That's exactly what I'm saying. Wow. And so what makes you an expert in this area? Well, I've been doing this for over uh, 10 years. Um, I started in 2011, and my business I started in 2013. So um, not to mention my background, right? I used to be a stockbroker. If that's if I can mention that, I age myself. I don't think they have stockbrokers anymore. But with Morgan Stanley, Dean Witter, um, small boutique shops throughout Wall Street. So the trading behind it, and this is what Wall Street trades. This is what Wall Street uses. So I'm just excited to bring Wall Street to Main Street. And I was just getting ready to say, we hear that all the time, but we never really understand how does that actually work? How does Main St- Wall Street come to Main Street where I actually have a chance to become the bank? Well, that's what we're doing here. It doesn't happen otherwise. I'm forcefully taking it to to Main Street. So to be honest with you, this is a coveted industry. It's one that's uh, held close to the, to the nets because of the uh, profits that are made, right? And so what I'm doing is I created a trade desk where we have the same inventory that the banks use, but we have it for individuals like you and I to put into our educational or uh, self-directed IRA accounts. Now you're talking about self-directed IRAs. Now, for everyone out there, they know about IRAs. They may know about 401ks. Can you please briefly share with them what is a self-directed IRA? So these things are like magic. (laughs) So if you've ever had a job before and you've uh, had a a package left behind, right, a retirement package or things like that, that's what the 401k is. And so when you leave something behind, you're able to roll it over so you can continue to invest it, right? And so typically a lot of us, we've had three, four, five jobs over our lifetime. And so we don't know how many pockets of money we've left behind, right? And so in our current job, we are have a current you know, sell, uh, IRA plan that we're working with. Um, but it's the ones behind us that we find hidden money and that we're able to invest right now. So we take those and we take them over to a self-directed platform. And they're going to allow us to invest in alternative investments. So we, can, so we basically can take our self-directed IRA. And I want to be clear, we're not talking about your regular IRAs. We're not talking about your regular 401ks. We're talking about self-directed. IRAs, which means you actually can now self-direct where you want your investments to go. 
And what Jasmine is sharing with us, that we can now take that into the alternative market and get into the mortgage note business. 100%. So mortgage notes are definitely considered an alternative. Last thing about the self-directed IRAs, the difference is if you're currently working with an employer, that money is to be vested with them, and they're going to use it in, in the platform that they have, right? And so any monies that you left behind, you're going to be able to take those and roll it over to an independent platform. And yes, buy mortgage notes, um, invest in real estate. I have a lot of people doing commercial real estate, so it's a variety of things in the alternative space that you can get involved with. And who is the best people to come over and start investing in mortgage notes? Well, I got to tell you, uh, with my program, we've got to across the game. And I have everyone from firefighters. I'm working with military right now because they have a thrift savings plan. A lot of people did not know that you can take your thrift savings plan. And yes, roll that over as well. So, I mean, it's really something that anyone who uh, has a capacity <laughs> and in the education can really take advantage of. And that's what we're here to provide, the education. The capacity, you've got to bring on your own. And, and the fact that you have a program, and we're going to dive into that after the after the break, but... I know you have a program to help people understand what the no mortgage note business is all about and how they actually can take advantage of it. But are there any pitfalls in investing in mortgage notes? Oh, tons. It's one of the most risky investment class. Um, but with that said, one thing that we love about it is that we know how to manage those risks. And so as long as you know how to manage risks, you can bring them on to me, right? It's those those unexpected risks that you can't manage, that you don't have the resources or the tools for, that'll catch you uh, with your pants down, if you, if you know what I mean. So for me, uh, there's tons of risk. Um, obviously, we buy performing notes. So these are when people are, are performing. So what if the guy stops paying his mortgage, right? That's a risk. And so you have to have the tools and the resources that the big banks have to, to mitigate and also save and continue to make that profitable. I, I just think that this is awesome because from the mortgage game to like investing in turnkey real estate or any type of hard property asset, right? This is paper. So this is a whole different ball game in and of itself. But because of the pandemic, a lot of, you know, landlords are, or property owners are really feeling the heat. So this just seems like something that really could help them get into alternative investments and not feel the need for collecting mortgage, I'm um, collecting rent. Well, the difference between uh, collecting rents, that's that's huge. I used to be a landlord myself, um, and I just had to get away from it, right? The tenants, the toilets, the trash, we all know about it. Uh, you start off with a 13% return. After expenses, you're looking at 8%, right? And so the note business allows me to avoid all of that, and that's why I'm, I'm very excited about this, right? No tenants, no toilets, no trash. Did you hear me, ladies? That's it. So if you can get away from that, and then the expenses, right? Um, that's one of the things where you actually get to keep the profit that you have shot for. So if you look in a, at a note and it's, something that's returning X amount return, you, you're typically going to see that. And if anything dips, you're going to have um, tools to mitigate that and get it back up and running. This is awesome. So you heard it. We are going to talk about how to become the bank. So when we return, we're going to dive right back into this conversation. So much has changed in the world. And reasons for legal counsel are many. With the law offices of Teresa R. Martin PC, you walk in looking for solutions, but when you walk out, you walk out with a growth mission and a support network. Get an attorney in real estate and business who knows and understands how to eliminate debt. Teresa has built an empire designed to grow businesses and strengthen communities. MartinLegal.com. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle with Dr. Teresa. I am joined with Jasmine Willows of the Note Assistance Program, and we were talking before the break about recession-proof investing. Jasmine, I know that we, we covered a lot before the break. So let's backtrack and let's explain what recession-proof investing actually is. What does that mean by that, right? Yes. It's like, you got my attention now, Jasmine, right? Well, every time I see us going through economic ups and downs, one individual, one entity is the one that's staying okay through this, and that's the bank. OK, so that's what I'm talking about. The banks have, in my opinion, figured out how to recession proof their investment strategy. Right. <laughs> and when things are well going down, they're making more money. When things are good, they're making money. And so that's the industry that I've been dying to crack and get us the rest of us into. Because I think as Americans, we deserve a crack at that type of opportunity. So really becoming the bank is what assets do they use? What tools do they use? And how do we attain some of the similar profits? And also before the break, we talked about with the pandemic, we have, you know, rent relief. Right. All the different things that, you know, different states are um, putting together rent relief, but they haven't really factored into the mortgage relief. Right. So if property owners and, 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 and landlords are not getting rent, which is what they use to pay their mortgage, we're looking at some forced, I always call it an involuntary for sure of um, foreclosure. Yeah. And so when you said that the banks always win and who 
you know, it hits you. Head, right? Yeah, it hits the bank. So with that in mind, what would you tell anyone who really doesn't, don't have a clear understanding about what mortgage investing is and scared of it because all they know is regular real estate, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a huge leap, trust me. And uh, it, it actually required me to put on the cowboy hat, try to take a, you know, my work hat and inside to get something that's going to allow me to be more flexible and creative. And so that's really what this is. So the biggest thing to be concerned about is, am I creative enough? Am I flexible enough? And I'll be honest with you, that's really it. Because in this industry, the banks win because they are at the, at the end of it, right? So they get to have all the control and they control the assets versus owning the assets. And I think that's where, um, if we can start understanding about owning the paper, and being the man in control, and not necessarily the, the asset, the hard asset, then you'll realize that you have much more control and you have the opportunity to make more money. And that, again, is due to your creativity. So it's very important that if you're new to this and you're a traditional landlord, you have to understand you're going to have to take that hat off, right, and start thinking about, what if I was a bank? Does the CEO of Wells Fargo, does he do this, that, and the other every time a loan is underwritten? No, he doesn't. He probably doesn't even know. He's just collecting his check, right? So that's where I want to get us. As a, as a community, as a, definitely. And one of the things that you and I vibe about is because we came up with this thing, Generation Wealth, though, right? That's right. a company. But then when we talked, you also have a mission to create generational wealth. Tell us about that. It's 5K and 5Y. We're so excited about this, right? And yeah, we are in both on two different coasts, right? You're in New York, I'm in California. And what's, what's so great about when we meet up is we are always on the same page. We can go six months, a year without talking, which we rarely do. But if we did, we would show up and say, guess what? Our businesses fit you know, just perfectly. So yeah, we're doing a mission of 5K and 5Y, which means we want to impact 5,000 families in the next five years. And by impact, we mean just even educating them to the fact that they can become the bank. Education is the first step. After that, there are a lot of us out there that can take advantage of this opportunity, right? But if you don't know about it, there's that. Exactly. And what's the youngest investor that you have within your program that's investing in those? That's a great question. Uh, first of all, I love the children. And so my mortgage note lab, I've had it crash by, uh, you can bring in children. I've had six year olds come in, they're you know, sitting next to their fathers. But as far as attending, seriously, I've had 16 year olds. And that's why I want to bring attention is most of the, the wealthy people that I know, and I'm talking wealthy people that are out there on the coast, uh, in San Diego, et cetera, their children are attending my mortgage note lab classes. They're not just sitting in class worrying about, you know, what all the basic, whether they're changing the math, you know, um, teachings now that's everyone else is worried about. We're worried about getting our children in front of alternative investing. So I've had 16 year olds um, from some very affluent families sitting in my class. Um, as far as investing, I have an 18 year old right now that just texted me and said, hey, I'm 18, <laughs> I have some money. Can you send me the next tape? So you really um, just really have to have the capacity and the fortitude to get involved with this. Obviously the money is out there. And so as we talked about, I can teach you how to find that. And that's what I love about it. So when we talk about 16 year olds, well, I do believe in the, the six year olds sitting next to the parents. I, 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 it's for modeling. Generational wealth. Yes. It's taught. Okay. And so one of the things that I love about what you offer is you really do bring Wall Street to Main Street. People say that it's not a cliche. You actually do it. You do it through your programs. You do it through the pink hat at the pink hat. You see the pink hat? Yeah. So it, it's really important that people understand that you are actually walking everything that you are talking. Well, you're part of my program. You've uh, you've seen it. So it's not it's definitely for real. Right. It's a real deal. Um, the education that you've gotten is the same education that any of you will get when you join the program. So the important part about this is really being able to look at this from a 30,000 foot view and then coming down and write it, write it in crown so everyone understands that once you understand it, you will realize that it's really one of the biggest opportunities in a lifetime. I, I love it. And and when, and you know, I've been a part of your network for like ever. Yes. And I always thought I was too busy to actually get involved and I don't want to do another class. I don't want to do it. But you know, the way you said it is you really can't get involved in this irregardless of my ESQ, right? You really do want to learn and put everything under your belt so that you can actually start walking in practice and not theory. Right. Yeah. And that's what I love about everyone in your network. They're really helpful and you actually encourage partnerships, you know, within the network. Yeah, well, that's what I mean about money, right? And so a lot of people say, oh, I don't have the money to get involved. You just really have to find the education. That's what we all did in college. We didn't have the money to get involved with college. We just, you know, figured out how we're going to get to college. And with that came the training and the education. Next thing, boom, we're professionals at something, right? Whether it was being a parent, <laughs> that happens. Whether it's a professional at our, at our trade, right? And so through the education, regardless of your background, this is an alternative space where it defies Again, it defies literally all the, the gravity in the regular real estate space. So you have to ask yourself, how does a bank always slithers itself out of situations? Well, 
we're gonna have to learn about that, <laughs> right? And actually, when we return, we are going to hear how you can get involved with Jasmine and get her contact information. When life gives you lemons, draft a business plan, call your girls, and build an empire of lemon-inspired beverages. Because a real investor understands that in these times, you have to have more than one gig. It's not simply lemonade anymore, boss ladies. Nothing happens until you decide to change your life. But when you do, make more than just lemonade. Oh, and do it in great company. Call us today and build your empire. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle with Dr. Teresa. I know you have enjoyed Recession Proof Investing with my special guest, Jasmine. Jasmine, please give them some tips on how they can get started and how they can contact you. So the first thing I'm going to recommend to the audience, especially if this is your first time understanding or hearing that you can invest in mortgages, is mind blown, right? If that's you, first thing I'm going to offer you is some free education. You can always check out our YouTube channel because we have a podcast called Naked Notes. You heard it right, Naked Notes Podcast. So check out our Naked Notes Podcast. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. And there you'll find a lot of free education, some snippets, some videos just to kind of get you into the mood and the mindset of mortgage loan investing. Um, we also have some free books I would recommend that you reading because, again, our program is about taking action. Uh, but if you are interested in, in connecting with me, please, I welcome everyone to join me on LinkedIn. Uh, it's under Jasmine R. Wilwar, and it's an OIS at the end. All right. So find me on LinkedIn, please. Our website is noteassistanceprogram.com. On there, we have a live chat. So, again, jump on the website. Communicate with us. You, if you need to speak with me, you can uh, schedule an appointment. We will also be happy to give you some recommendations and links to get you started with just the education and thinking process. Well, Jasmine, thank you so much for sharing your wealth of information, especially on recession-proof investing. This has been awesome. We'll be right back. Generational Wealth Zone is the leading resource center for driven female entrepreneurs. Join our supportive community and benefit from expert consulting and a mastermind group of like-minded winners. The future successful professional has a business coach and the future is here, period. Enjoyyourlegacy.com. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. This is Dr. Teresa Martin. I know you enjoyed recession-proof investing, and the golden tips that my special guest Jasmine shared with you. The purpose of Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle is to take the fear out of business ownership and real estate investing. We, ha we are the hot spot for successful entrepreneurs sharing their unique insights, experiences, and success stories. If you have a burning question and you want to reach out to us, please reach out to us at FiscallyFabulousTV.com and share your questions with me. You want to be back here next week because I have some more juice for you. So remember, you are fiscally fabulous and you are worth it. This has been Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire. If you would like to learn more on how you can build generational wealth and leave a lasting legacy, go to www.enjoyyourlegacy.com and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for listening. Until next time.